Hello everyone, so today we will explore more with his site and first of all a few issues to mention first one is that you can download the software from this link and the software, as you know the software was developed by Thomson Reuters Collaborate Analysis but they have said that they will not update the software anymore in future but the current version is pretty good to go actually so it's no problem at all you can use this and download it from this website and the second problem is that I have seen that some of the users or like some of the students who tried it they had some problems when uploading the data so if you have this error message you can try this and I believe it should be fine after that there is also another issue with analyzing more than 500 data I mean the problem is not analyzing more than 500 records but like when you upload if your text file have more than 500 records then his site cannot really process that so if you have like 1500 records 1500 articles to analyze then you have to divide it in three groups in 500 each and uh, then you can upload three files one after another and it will work fine so when you like when you extract the data for data uh, when you extract the information of the articles from ISIU web science then you have to make like three three articles three group uh, three text files okay and if you don't know how to prepare this data then you can watch our video on extracting bibli bibliography data from ISIU web science database and this is the second version of the video using his site so if you haven't watched the first one I recommend you watch the first one so now I'm assuming that you already know how to get to this point if you have watched the previous video then you already know how to get to this point so here I have like 238 articles written by 436 authors published in 80 journals in total it was cited something like 9500 and total keywords are 462 and grand total information are here as you see total local citations total global citations and yeah total cited references and the collection span it's like the all the articles here are from 2003 and 2016 so here as I said like if you have more than 500 then you have to do it multiple times then you have to upload the data multiple times so if I had more than 500 and if I had 500 here then what I would do is I would go here add file and I will just add the second version of the text file which can be easily done so so for now I will proceed with this 238 files uh, records so first of all here we have the records so the first thing I would do actually I would go to view and I would turn on the bibliometric option from the standard so that we have more options here and we get a lot of more information so now all our records are here if we want to see the most cited ones locally cited ones then we click here we get a rank from the highest one to lowest one if we want to see the local highest cited ones per year we click here we get a rank if we want to see the global citation score rank we click here we get the rank so as you see here you can get the rank like local cited references you click here you get a rank of it total site uh, cited reference the articles which cited the most articles so we get a rank here so you see how it works a few more things that we have not explored earlier is that we can see the yearly output here so we can rank it based on yeah number of publication I think it looks pretty nice here like this yeah we see the percentages here for analysis purpose what I would actually do is I would copy these into Excel and make a nice graph in Excel for instance let me show you this one here so I have copied the information here which may not be same as what we are seeing in the his side because uh, I have modified a little bit later or could be same I really don't remember so and then based on this information I made a graph here figure which I in the end put into the paper so here you can see this this trending line the line is the 
number of articles published and total global citation is represented here with the blue bars and total local citations are represented here with this uh, you, I don't know what color it is so the, with this bar so you can make a graph like this and put it in the paper we can also look at document type normally we prefer to have all the articles I think I did it in the end in the in the main paper but for some reason I have here a few other types so you can click here and see them if you want to remove them you can remove them as well so to remove you have to go to here mark and tag so you can just click one by one with the one you want to remove and then you can remove it from here take action you know so yeah you have this option available to remove but that's not the purpose for now just wanted to show the document types here okay and then we have the languages English I mean I can't really read any other language so I prefer to have all the articles in English when I have downloaded the articles from SIA Web Science I have already defined my criteria for English language papers only from here we can see all the institutions there are yeah there are many as we see but not many of them published a lot on the topic so the first ones are the top ones in a, here the ranking is based on number of publication and I we see Australian National University is top one in this topic it's about the internationalization of Chinese firms then University of Leeds Peking University Hong Kong University so we see yeah this and we can also rank it by total local citations or we can also do it by total global citations as you see again for this analysis I would copy this whole table into Excel and do further analysis there for instance here you see I have copied the whole ranking here so I also put a column personalized I pers customized it a bit I added a column about country so now I wanted to see only the Chinese universities which were doing like excellent research on this topic so what I did I went here filter option I went to China and that's all like I got the top Chinese universities so maybe I would pick like the first 10 or something from here you know in terms of number of publications and you can put this table in the paper and also we have institution with subdivisions so you can actually we can actually go into de uh, department level you know when looking at which institutions are excellent in the particular topic we can also see country level data so not the most the highest is from China which is pretty obvious I think because it's about Chinese internationalization Chinese farm internationalization and we also have the percentages here so again I would copy the whole table in Excel and I will modify a little bit there like format it nicely before I put it in the paper that's it and mm, yeah if you need any help then what you can do is you can go to glossary here you will see information about each of the each of the criteria used in this software you can go actually very detailed about everything almost everything they have a lot of information here so you can write read yeah you can go and read about it how to export how to save print well yeah you can you can do a lot so I'm not gonna explore it now you should do it yourself if you really are using this software and again now we go to graph maker for a while because last in the last video the graph was not really good enough because we took only very few years and the data was not really linked with each other very well but for this case let's see how it works so if we keep the analysis level local citation and we count the first 30 articles the top 30 articles then what do we get we get a graph like this I think it looks pretty good right so you see normally you would get it like this some a few things you should do is 
for instance you can change the arrowhead size it's it's very small maybe we make it one so that we will see like this arrowhead who is citing whom you know like for instance this article is citing this article so the arrow is coming from here to there so the arrow is really very small so we can make it a little bit big like my graph sometimes you have to click twice so now you see the graph the arrows are a little bit bigger and we don't we can't really read the number of the article like the number is here number four it should be this one i think but we cannot really see yeah when you put our mouse we see that this is number four but we can't really read it from here so we should also increase the front of that so now like you see some notes are smaller and some are bigger like these ones are a bit bigger than others it means that these are more sided than these ones but still it's not really very clear what i would do i would scale it a little bit more maybe two and i make the graph again so now you see the big is really now kind of dominant here we really can understand which are more sided just looking at it and but we still cannot really see the see the node number inside so we'd go to front we'd increase the node size i would make for instance i would make it 20. also the year numbers here i can't really see it so i would make this one as well 20 month i don't really care much but you can try so now let's see now now you see it, it looks much better we can see the years in which year these articles were published the notes are readable from here so it looks pretty good with the graph now i guess you can do a lot more if you want here you have the option to export it in other formats or pi and dot but i don't really recommend it and we can we can play we can play a bit with this like we can change the value we can change it to value and maybe we want all the articles with five citations five local citations we can make the graph again sometimes you have to click like multiple times ah there are many many articles with five citations so you cannot really make sense of this graph so better to make it like 10 and see what happens so with 10 we get 35 articles still a bit chaos maybe i'll make it like 12 to reduce the number so that it looks a bit better yeah 12 looks much better now it would be easier to make sense of this graph so now what i would do like now we have 29 articles so one good idea is to make a cluster analysis of this article and see which articles are like in in a similar research stream normally it would be like the articles in the same we, which are kind of close to each other are often likely to be in the same cluster and also we can like visually use the score citation technique like we can see for instance these two articles are cited by this article so when two articles are cited by another article they are likely to be in the same cluster and also this one and also this one all these four articles are cited by this article this means that all these four articles are likely to be in the same cluster but it's yeah we can identify looking at them visually like these articles are also likely to be in the same cluster so we can visualize a bit uh, we can identify the clusters looking at it and i would actually print this whole uh, print this citation map in a big big page a three size page and i will draw it and also what i would do is i would go through i would download all these papers here 29 papers i will read them i will try to cluster them based on the iterative process and subjective judgment and i would use excel file make an excel file for instance uh, i would make an excel file like this for my cluster analysis part like i will have these numbers of the uh, node numbers the title year journal author total number of local citations research streams and then data data source methods theory independent variable dependent variable moderator mediator key remarks and findings or abstracts so i'll make an excel file like this i'll fill it for all the articles there and these research streams it was not there in the beginning i didn't get it from the articles so when i read the articles 
one by one in an iterative process again and again I came to understand some kind of uh, some some kind of theme in the articles like they, they they follow they fall into a kind of broad category so then I came up with this idea of having a cluster name I put it here and then another one and another one so when a new when a new theme emerged I give a new name and then I kept going on like a new theme emerged N not th this is the second theme like then again here a new theme emerged so it it is a long process long iterative process of reading the articles one by one many times and but it's old I think it's like it's old you know you can you, can, you get a lot of information from here By the way, to put this paper, uh, to put this citation mapping in the in the research article, what I would do is I would go and use snipping tool. I will take it off, like I'll take it off from here, and I would use PowerPoint slide like this. You know, I'll put the citation mapping there, and then I would, based on the subjective iteration of the clusters, sub uh, based on the iteration of the all the articles in the in the in the in the citation mapping and their clusters emerge from my subjective analysis and looking at the pattern of the citation mapping i will make a few cluster like this you know there are, here i have four clusters and i have given them some names so first i put this map in in a powerpoint slide and then i have drawn everything using tools like you can use these tools from here yeah and then you can draw it like this another thing which could be yeah in the paper I also put things like this the process how I did it how I collected data what happened what I was looking for then and then how many articles were extracted and how they were extracted what did I get from it and my findings and how they're related how the findings are related so I hope now you have a better idea how you can make sense of this seaside data. And also one more thing maybe I would like to show is that when sometimes in a review article the the most important thing is that when you reveal future research directions. And to do that I think one good idea is to use this LCR like when I click it I get a ranking of the articles with the highest LCR so this means that these articles the this article has cited at least 69 article of this 238 article of this whole data set and this use 38 and this use 35 so it means that when an article is using more of more article of the same data they are more relevant to the topic and also it is like to be likely to be a recent article because in the recent years there were more articles on the topic and they are citing more so it, it makes more sense to use this LCR I think for this uh, for exploring the future research directions so what I would do I would like maybe go I would, I would download 10 or 15 articles top top LCR articles and I would go to their future research direction part of these articles one by one in the last page I think after conclusion and then I'll pick what they were saying that future research should consider and based on that I can make a table of like 10-15 future research questions so I think this is helpful for you and if you have any other questions please let me know drop a comment or my and thank you for watching this video if you find it useful please like comment share and subscribe and follow our facebook page and also subscribe for our newsletter in our website thank you